Actually, I'm looking at my... Uh, I'm looking at the capture window right now, actually, that you guys are going to see, and... It's actually a little bit wide. The, the angle of the lens is a little bit... <laughs> the lens, I'm saying, but it's a little bit... You've got a bit of a wider range than you do on what I'm seeing right now. I can't quite see the edges of the screen. Pretty cool, huh? Um, it's not going to make any difference to you guys because of what you can see, but yeah. I like to complain. I'm going to be complaining about a lot of stupid little things, so there. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That there chocolate chip cream sundae supreme is the pride of the city. <laughs> the whole world can come tumbling down, but they'll still light up for a taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey! What about your memories? Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that looks fucking tasty. <laughs> you said it. Enjoy it, kiddo. Satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love it, you get your money back. Hey! Oh, I love it. <laughs> Say so. How about you give me a hand and help look for somebody who knows you, Chip? Chip? Gotta call you something, don't I? What do you think? That has a slightly yeah. different. The word chip has a bit of a. Well, not chip. More like chip. C H I B has a bit of a different meaning in Scotland. And every time I hear the word chip, that's what I think of. I just want to lift up the little rodent and bang them out of somebody's heat. You know, like a chip. So I, uh, this is one of the, um, like, uh, I'm sure you guys already know, but yeah, Sonic Unleashed consists of uh, daytime and nighttime stages. But they're also, you also have these little hub worlds where you can just go about and talk to people and all that. And I'm going to be honest, I quite like these, you know? They do, yeah, they broke up the flow, yeah, they break up the flow of the game that later games would rectify, but... There's something really likeable about them. I find them quite atmospheric, you know. Like, both in daytime and nighttime, you know. I get a good feel for them. So, yeah. There you go. Um, we have 130 rings right now, right? You want to do... No, oh, this shop isn't opened yet. Um, there's a shop in every overworld, and you want to actually buy souvenirs there, and I'll explain why later. For the time being... This! This was probably Sonic Unleashed's biggest problem. The reason I'm get cutting about here the new. I'm sure you all know what I'm getting at. It's those sodden... Sodden, awful... Medals. You have to collect shitloads of medals... To, you know, advance through the game. They can be found in the stages, and they can be found in these overworlds. I'm probably going to be looking for a lot of them uh, off-screen. So not to, so as not to, uh, see you guys, I mean, when you're playing, there's one there, yeah. You only, f you'll find majority of night medals, uh, when you're playing as, a uh, Sonic here, and you'll find majority day medals when you're playing as the Werehog. Um, I think there's another one. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and find most of them off screen, so, so you guys don't have to see them, yeah. And I'm definitely not going to spend a lot of time, at least during the daytime stages, looking for them. I will probably in the nighttime stages, since those one inhibit ex... Exactly. They inhibit ex... Ex... FUCK ME! I sound like I work at four kids. Ooh, burn. Okay. Yeah. The fucking nighttime levels inhibit exploration more than the daytime stages, since you're fucking boosting all the time. Yeah, there I said it. Okay. That said, I seriously, oh, I don't want to keep moaning about this I, too much, but seriously, just coming off of Generations, Sonic controlling like this is really bad. Anyway, nip in here and we'll go to Windmill Isle Act 2, which is technically Act 1, because that's the one you remember it. That little tutorial stage we were in was really Act 1, but most people like to regard this as Act 1, as do I. So yeah, while these levels, while they do have their problems, mainly with how they're controlled and all that, you know, they are still fun. 
Oh wait, nah. I refuse to accept that I'm taking that shortcut. Let's see, yeah, it's camera control. That's something I wish they kept in Generations, though, the camera control. Um, because in Generations you can't control it at all, you know. Okay. Now, when, on some of those ramps, actually, you're going to have to, you know, boost. Oh, wait. Oh, God, I promised myself I wouldn't do this. I'm sorry. But I'm doing it anyway. There's a fucking medal up there that I want to get. There we go. Okay, let's boost from now on. Okay, they also... I think they also kind of slowed Sonic down a wee bit. For, uh... For Sonic Unleashed. For uh, Sonic Generations, sorry. Because uh, he seems to go a lot faster in this game. And the fact that you can upgrade that speed is pretty, like... Blows my mind, you know. I don't think I'm going to upgrade Sonic's speed at all in this playthrough. I will for the boost gauge, but not for the speed, because he's going fast enough, suffice it to say. Oh god. <laughs> See, I thought I was playing Generations there, and I thought you could use the left analog stick to hop from rail to rail, but you can only use L1 and R1 in this game. Jump. No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, fuck it. Because I think there was another medal back there. So yeah, even like the... Even this sort of 2D platforming kind of feels a bit more slippy because of the controls. You know, again, that's just when compared to Generations. And I don't like the fact that there's quick time events in this game, you know? You know, there's, you shouldn't have that in Sonic games, I don't think. Again, that's something that Colors and Generations got rid of, and I'm very glad that they did, so... Oh, what do we have there? Oh, hello there. Hello, ya beauty. Alright. Not bad so far. One sun medal, five, uh... Ah, should've been boosted there. Right, it can be such a pain looking for all the sun and moon medals in some of the daytime levels, as you could probably predict. But yeah, that was Windmill Isle. Very nice little opening stage right there. Um, yeah, we're going to be upgrading primar primarily the Weirhog in this uh, playthrough. Well, I don't mind leveling up as a... Ring energy, but the speed I'm not gonna touch. You know, I'm just, I just CBA. He's gone fast enough, and you really don't notice a big difference. Even playing it right now, because I play this a lot with the stats maxed out, and I don't notice a fucking difference with the speed. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. Sun goes down. Oh. Sonic? 
Alright, how long we recorded for? Ah, uh, just 24 minutes, we're good. Right, how long we recorded for now? Still 24 minutes, I don't want to play as the Werehog! Turn into this? Are you okay, Sonic? Could be worse. When the sun comes back up, you could sparkle and shit. Well, actually, Sonic does quite a bit of sparkling in more ways than one. Whether he's invincible or collecting rings or supersonic. Yeah. And this guy is filled with negative energy, which is making him all sad. Some more of this super tasty stuff. What good is ice cream at a time like this? <laughs> and he has also inherited the powers of Mr. Fantastic. Right, so yeah, now we're the sodden werehog, and we get to play werehog levels. I'll quickly get the two sun medals about here. But there we go. That was quick. Is that shop opened yet? Uh, no, no yet. Right, we've got a dash button, and Dick, I'll show you all the attacks when we get there. Oh, I didn't mean to fucking talk to that Wayne. These NPCs have absolutely fucking nothing to s usefully say, by the way. They'll occasionally offer you wee side quests, which, you know, I only did them because I was trying to get all the achievements or trophies or what have you, but for the most part, it's fucking useless. Well, mind you, you do get certain side quests that are proper levels, that are, and it's a nice wee bit of content. So, yeah... Act one of night time. So yeah, this is gonna be what most of the thumbnails of these videos are gonna be. Me playing the sodden werehog levels, and yes, they are always gonna be referred to as sodden. Sodden loading times. And there's sodden tales. Being attacked by some sodden, sparkly things. 